Chumat Kalsandu reporting for Sony Sports Network in India here in Louisville, Kentucky, standing alongside Ricky Tercios, who takes on Raul Rosas Jr. on the main card this weekend here in Louisville. And Ricky, it's so good to see you. You're always just brimming full of positivity and, and great energy. And I just kind of first of all just want to find out where that you know initially comes from. It comes from the heart, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, it's that energy, and it, it comes from the heart, you know what I'm saying? For sure. I definitely think that uh, it helps me, and it helps all of my people around me, you know what I'm saying? I enter into the room, you know what I'm saying? I'm ex I exude this energy, you know what I'm saying? And I enter into the room, I'm here to uplift my people, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that, that's, what, I that's what I believe. This fight with Raul was obviously meant to take place, you know, a couple of times at this point. Is it weird having to kind of like almost do the same tape study and kind of con continue to build on the strategy? Or does that even change as the date changes for this opponent? Yeah, I mean, you know, I wouldn't say it's weird. You know what I'm saying? It's just another opponent standing in front of me. You know what I'm saying? That I must go in there and, and defeat. You know what I'm saying? So I go in there this weekend, leave it all inside the octagon, go, go in there, protect myself at all times, attack, 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 leave with my hand raised, God willing. You know what I'm saying? You know, the interesting thing about Raul is uh, the big story is like he's so young. You know, he's a 19 year old and he's competing and fighting in the UFC. And, and I kind of just want to find out from your perspective, how do you think he's been handled uh, or how he's been handling rather this UFC career so far for him? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, he's young. He's early in his career. You know what I'm saying? He's, uh, he's, he's, he's won some fights, lost some fights. You know what I'm saying? I'm in this one right here. I'm the ultimate fighter champion. You know what I'm saying? I've been in this position. You know what I'm saying? I've been here before. I've been battle tested. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've taken my losses. I've won my wins. I've won my championships. You know what I'm saying? I've been knocked down. I've rose back up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, so I've been battle tested. I'm ready for this moment for sure. Is it even uh, a blessing in disguise that you kind of had to kind of go through some of the, the ups and downs before you even got to the UFC so you were mentally prepared? prepared to kind of go on this journey at the highest level in this sport? Of course, of course, for sure. I, I, experience is priceless, you know what I'm saying? Experience is priceless, you know what I'm saying? And I'm grateful for my journey, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Even the, the, the losses are just the stepping stones to future successes, you know what I'm saying? And uh, for sure, the, uh, I, I, I'm at my best. I'm at my best. As I stand here today, I'm at my best. As I enter into the octagon on Saturday, I know I'm at my best. And I enter with an aura of unshakable confidence. You know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. And I have to ask you this question as well. Pooja Toma, the very first Indian female fighter in UFC history, will be making her debut this weekend in Louisville on the same card that you're competing on. And you've already made the walk for the UFC a bunch of times at this point. What advice would you give Pooja as she gets ready to make her UFC debut? Yeah, my advice for Pooja making her UFC debut, I would say to just uh, believe in your training and leave it all inside the octagon, you know, attack, 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 and go in there and use, use all of your offense, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Attack, leave it all in the octagon, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, enjoy the moment. And, and for you, you know, when you kind of close your eyes and you envision this fight with Raul playing out, how do you defeat Raul Rosas Jr.? Yeah. I win this fight by any means necessary. Knockout, submission, or frick it, I'll win a split decision. <laughs> Wishing you tons of prosperity and abundance, my friend. Yes, I really appreciate it. Likewise, back to you, brother.